line up the trucks? Yeah. This time, they're marked high explosives. <laughs> I've got the cops fixed. What time are they landing and stuff? Three this morning. I'm paying off nails for this load at Eddie's at four. Say, you better give me that dough before you forget about it. Swell chance of me forgetting about uh, 25 grand. What's the matter, Walter? No, oh, this is rotten. No kick. I can't get a column done in this place anymore. Nothing ever happens around here. You've been sour on everything lately. What's wrong? No, I don't know. I guess I'm tired of looking at these same faces. And I know they're tired of looking at mine. Now, don't you think anything like that, Walter. Well, it's nice of you to say so, Hirsch. But don't kid a kid. <laughs> Hiya, Chick. Hiya, Butch. Hello, Walter. Hello, Lynch. Say, is there anything to the report that you guys are going back to your respective hometowns to murder after next? Say, quit picking on us, will you? Have a drink, Walter. No, thanks. Oh, you needn't be afraid. It just ain't any of our stuff. No. We got this stuff off of your pal, Steve. We hijacked seven of his trucks last night. Great guy, your pal Steve. Your stuff is Steve's. It's all the same to me. I'm not taking any these days. I'll see you guys around. Okay, Walter. That guy's too friendly with Steve to suit me. Ah, oh, which is all right. You just gotta understand him, that's all. Yeah. There's only one guy that understands him. Who? Steve? No. Winchell. Good night, Mr. Winchell. Good night, Charlie. I want you to find out something for me, and I'm going to ask you to do that. Is that Walter Winchell? Yep. Oh, Mr. Winchell. Yes? I must seem very bold, but I just had to talk to you, Mr. Winchell. You see, I'm the Walter Winchell of Lancaster. You must think I'm awfully fresh, but my paper sent me on here to get some real New York gossip. I just don't know how to go about it. So, you know, I started out in a small town newspaper once, so I know just what you're up against. I suppose they gave you every bit of $25 to come to New York and make a lot of whoopee. Then you will tell me some real Broadway gossip? So how would you like to be my guest at the Biltmore here tonight? And hear Paul Whiteman and his band. Plenty nice. Oh, Mr. Winchell, that will be marvelous. You know, I know this sounds crazy, but that's just why I'm doing it. And it might give me a new slant on things, and I know I need them. Anyhow, let's go. OK, Lancaster. This is the first time I've ever been in a place like this. I'm so thrilled. And to think I'll see Paul Whiteman's orchestra. He will, if he doesn't stand in front of it. I've heard him on the air so many times. I wish he'd play. Music? Mm -hmm. Paul, give. <laughs> Who's that over there with Winchell? Where? Why, right over there. Oh. Why, I don't know. Oh, she's lovely. I'll say she is. And she's my favorite canary, too. See that chap sitting with her? That's another famous radio star. 
Aunt Jarrett. Mr. Whiteland discovered her in Chicago. They call it Heidi Home underneath the Harlem Moon. There's Mr. Whiteland right over there. Yeah, would you like to meet him? Hey, Paul, come in. Hello, Walter. How are you, Paulie? Glad to see you. Well, couldn't be better. This is Paul Whiteland. How do you do? And this is Jack Fulton. How do you do? Boys, this is Miss Lancaster of 1932. Say, Walter, who's a tricky-looking gal you're with? She's not a tricky-looking gal. She's a little country gal, and Walter's showing her the big town and getting a great big kick out of it, too. Yeah, but I thought that was Hellinger's department. Hellinger's in Europe, so why can't Walter do a little wind chiseling himself? Fine. Oh, you... you ask him. He'd do much better for you. Oh, Mr. Fulton, will you please sing Sylvia? Why, of course. Come on, Paul, let's get back to work. Touched with glancing starry beams, such a face as drifts through dreams. This is Sylvia to the side. And the I've asked somebody sitting at the very next table. Darling, do you know who that girl is over there with Walter? The street singer. Oh, the street singer. Not my pal, Ben Burney. <laughs> When the meads are golden brown And the autumn fills the light well, There's a famous radio critic sitting over there. Hello, Walter. Hello, Walter. You moving on again? Nick Kenny. The chap with him is Fred Martin, that well-known orchestra leader. From the depths of memories, all the loveliness of Such a face as drifts through dreams. This is Sylvia to the side. Gee, I'm so thrilled seeing all these famous people. I can hardly believe it's real. Say, you know everybody, don't you, Mr. Winter? When you've been around Broadway as long as I have, you get to know everybody. And everybody's racket. This is Sylvia to the side. I hear her voice, her dear sweet voice, calling to This is wonderful. You've made my dreams come true. I wonder if I could wish for one more thing. Why don't you rub me? Maybe I'm Aladdin's lamp. Go ahead, rub. Harder. What's the wish? Well, all my life I've wanted to meet a real live gangster. But I don't suppose you'd find any in a swell place like this. No? Look over your shoulder. You'll see two of the livest gangsters we have in New York. Oh, Mr. Winchell, you're kidding. They're nice looking and all dressed up. Yeah, dressed to kill. Oh, they can't really be gangsters. How do you know? When you've been around Broadway as long as I have, you get to know everybody, and everybody's racket. I can't believe it. No? Jake, come here, will you? This is Jake. Check meet a famous newspaper woman from Lancaster. Hi. 
I told her you were a big shot, but she wouldn't believe me. X nay on that publicity stuff. Oh, it's okay, chick. Sit down, sit down. Can't you see she's a little country girl wanting to see how the wheels go around on the inside? Give her a break. I get you. Here, wait a minute. Get me changed for this thousand dollar bill. Wait a minute. Bring him his change in nickels so he can call up a few of his girls. I take it in pennies. Only I don't like coppers. Oh, take it easy, chick. Be nice to him. Give her a break. Ask her for a dance. Sure, Walter. Well, sweet. How about a little dance? Do you really mean it? Sure. Hey, Butch. He thinks he's hot. No one in Lancaster can dance like you. Well, thanks. So what time have you got, Walter? Quarter to twelve, chick. Hmm, pretty. Let's see that a minute. To our pal Winchell from Steve and his mom. Hmm, dandy. So Steve's been giving you presents, eh? Yeah, I did him a little favor once. Well, if you want to do him another favor, you tell him to keep out of my way. Or it'll be just too bad. Okay, Chick. Well, I guess I better blow. Oh, well, Butch. Thank you. You know, Walter, a little deal. Bye, babe. Thanks. That little deal means probably buying a rum cargo. How do you know? Gee, anybody can tell you from the country. How many times do I have to tell you, Lancaster, when you've been around Broadway as long as I have, you get to know everybody and etc. Catch on. She'd say, oh, how am I doing? Hey, hey, tweet, 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 what for? Here, did, 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 How am I doing? Hey, hey, tweet, 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 what for? How am I doing? Hey, hey, gee, your baby, your show. Say, I'm not bragging, but it's understood that the things I do, I should. Those are Paul Whiteman's rhythm boys. Cinderella leaving the party at 12 o'clock. Why, this is my lunchtime. Well, you see, I'm staying at the girls' club, and we've got to be in early. That's one on me. Why don't you out with the 12 o'clock girl? Wait a Kill it. Thank you, sir. All right, I'll take you home. Oh, you don't have to bother taking me home. You've been nice enough. Oh, that's all right. I've had a lot of fun being a boy scout. You know, I ought to do this more often. I've had a lot of fun. I was afraid before I met you, the 
and I was going to have a dull evening. Oh, Mr. Winchell, I found out about that. You did? That hospital's at 186th Street. Well, thank you. Honey, I think I'll have to leave you here now. I've run into something, and I've got to go uptown. Charlie, can you see that this little girl gets into a cab, please? Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. If you get to New York again, be sure and look me up. Thanks a lot, Mr. Winchell. Gee, it must be great to have been around Broadway as long as you have. Know everybody and everybody's racket. Goodbye. Goodbye. Keep happy. They made you in uniform. 186th Street, and where? Oh, I don't know. Well, when? I don't know. Aren't you a lot of help? You were going uptown to attend the blessed event. That's been postponed until the day after tomorrow. You ought to know. You double-crossing rat. Oh, what's the idea? What is this? So you tipped Steve off. The chick had 25 grand on him, huh? Oh, what's the gag? What are you trying to Don't do now? What is that it? dumb stuff? Where's the rest of my dough? That other 24 grand. Nobody except you, Butch. And that hick dame knew I had important money on me. Fifteen minutes after I leave, I discover it's gone. How it was pulled, I don't know, but... Uh, Stephen has marked the it. Oh, fellas, I swear, I don't know anything about Listen. it. Listen. That dough was to pay off a liquor already delivered to me, see? And if I haven't got it, somebody's gonna get knocked off. So you better come with us right now. And do your explaining to nails in his mob. Savvy? Now, wait a minute. Don't come start anything here. Now, just a minute. Don't wait a go. Minute. Don't go. Shake her out. I want to talk to Walter. Oh, some of them. Walter, I want you to come over and meet my girlfriend. Oh, Walter, will you get a laugh? She, she's a shy little thing. She wouldn't have anything to do with me until I told her I was a big broker. Blow Money guy, charges. Blow. Shush, shush, shush. I want Walter to meet this dame. She's a little hick. She just got in from Lancaster. Lancaster? Lancaster. Yeah, come on, Walter. I want you to come over and meet her. Come on. She's right over here. Where, come where, where? Wait a minute. Stop that girl. Stop that girl. Stop that girl. Stop that girl. Get out of here. Quick, hurry. Lady, what do you want me to do? Make this kid jump over that one? Never mind that hello, baby. Kick in, kick in. I guess this is what you're looking for. Here, count it, Butch. Are you lying to Now little... listen here, Mr. Chick Buckley. Don't you go moral on me. You've got your own little racket, and I've got my little Well, team. now scram, now, before I call a cop. A cop? Oh, yeah, that's funny. You know the nicest girl. Walter? Walter? Ducky? Oh, Walter? Hey! I couldn't do it to you, Walter. Grand Central Station. I wonder who that dame really is. Why don't you know who she is, Mr. Winchell? Well, that's Lancaster Lil. Lancaster Lil? How do you know? When you've been around Broadway as long as I is, you gets to know everybody and everybody's racket. <laughs>